go. How you doing, Brian King, UK Flooring TV? Uh, we're back over in Telford. Uh, we're with current UK Carpet Fist of the Year winner, Dan Jones. Dan, how's it going? I'm all right, cheers, sound, yeah. Uh, Dan, before we kick off, uh, we uh, Jan said give us a heat seamer to give away. Uh, we've yeah. done a raffle, and uh, who's the who's the winner, Dan? Yeah, uh, and you've picked out of the raffle Alec Torbit from Aberdeen, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah well yeah. done, Alec. Yeah, uh, cheers, mate. So. Uh, Send Brian your address and he'll post it. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> he'll send it to me and I'll post it. That's the one. Yeah, That's yeah. The one. So if you just send us your details, mate, we'll get that in the post to you. Well Cheers. done, mate. Uh, Dan, what we're doing this week? Well, we'll have it's it's a little bit carpet related, but um, you you might be interested, you might not. I do like messing about. Anyone who knows me will know that. Uh, and I've always wanted to make a carpet. For years, I've been thinking of this. Nowadays stuff's available cheap uh, so I've had the delivery from China <laughs> and I've got here I've got the loop pile gun and I've got the cut pile gun and I've also bought um, a shearer I think that's a four inch uh, carpet shearer well Dan you've lost me uh, so what, what are they and what do they do yeah, yeah. well basically if you want to make a rug uh, like a Chinese style rug these are some that I made when I first had it. You can see they've been thrown, they've been thrown in the corner, uh, and I've just got them out. Um, and, and that's just what I had to go with. We've got some loop pile, uh, some cut pile, and the end again is is loop pile. But basically, um, with these, you, you make a frame. Uh, I've used two lengths of gripper around a, a, a square frame, uh, and you stretch stretch them into backing. Uh, or, or what you're going to use as into backing onto the frame uh, and then you feed these guns the yarn that you want uh, they're digital motors and it, they, all, they always stop in the same place um, they've got a speed adjustment for when you get really professional you can... <laughs> um, but I mean these are cheap things uh, they weren't necessarily that cheap I've had them a while but they're, I think about £120 on eBay you can get one of these uh, uh, and, and this as well is something that if you're getting into the making of the rugs uh, is a useful tool I have seen them use these for other things which I'll get to after um, but basically you feed your yarn in it has to come sort of over your shoulder and it needs to unroll off the cone quite well um, and then, then you actually stick that into the into back in and it does work its way up as you as you pull the trigger um, so basically, is it a mini tufting machine? It, it, it's yeah, it's a single row tufting gun. Yeah, every every time it goes in and out, it puts one tuft in. Yeah. Um, and then they've got, and it also it's got a little tiny pair of scissors underneath it, uh, and it cuts it so it doesn't leave a loop. So that does the cut pile. You can adjust the height of the pile with these bars uh, and the guard there. And I, I take it that one doesn't have the scissors and keeps the loop. That doesn't have the scissors and it keeps the loop um, and and it gives you. If I bring this over to the camera, it gives you the loop pile finish, uh, and then there's the cut pile finishes, and then I've put a row of uh, of a loop in there. You got them on there? Yeah. Yeah. So you can make a rug. So first, I just made a plain rug. Uh, I didn't have much yarn, so I stuck with horrible colours. Um, I've got a binding machine now, a whipping machine, so I have got a majority of different colours. Um, the wool's quite expensive if you're buying it in short cones off eBay. Some of the rugs are costing £40-£60 in raw materials to make. To make. Um, but now I, I've got better contacts for yarn uh, and I've got a lot of different colours. Uh, so what, what I'm thinking of doing, I wanted to show you these um, and I'm going to set up between now and the next time, I'm going to set up a backing on the frame uh, and we're going to film the making of the rug. I'll try and do one with a UK flooring TV in it. Um, and we'll, we'll make up a rug, we'll show it in action, um, and, and you'll see. I'd, I'd have said that they're really entry level tools. You can buy them 120 quid, you can have a go. If you don't like it, you can probably sell it to your mate for 80, or, or you, you could get nearly your money back for it. Um, what I found, you get to a certain point, I've done an NICF rug with the NICF logo in. Um, the tip is quite thick, so it has to push quite a big hole in the backing. If you if you try and use um, Hessian or a Duke backing, 
if you get too many in it will break the backing um, and I'd say that as you get more into it you want a, a, a finer end on it and you, you want a proper Hoffman tufting gun uh, or the real equipment this just gives you a taste uh, as with all Chinese stuff it's got the element of danger in it it's got spinning cogs uh, you have to be careful if you catch your yarn in there it wraps it all up takes ages to un undo it if you get your finger in there it probably would uh, deal with you another way so I mean with all this Chinese stuff well most of what I've experienced you've got an element of danger which is quite good <laughs> um, so is that uh, would you say a basic starter this is as basic as you get I, I think when they make these things they look in a parts box and they find a load of things that nothing's made specifically for it really they've used rose joints and, and, and all sorts of things but they are clever uh, it's, and it's given me an insight into it it's can you upgrade? You can upgrade, yeah. I yeah. think you either want an air-powered uh, or, or a, they do an air and electric Hoffman. Hoffman is the one I've looked at, which are quite good. They're big bucks for me at the minute. When I, when I have got spare money, I will invest in one. Or, or if I come across... I've been looking for a second-hand one for years on eBay. Uh, I don't see one. But So basically, next time, we'll, we'll show you these in action. But uh, in between times, if you are interested, you can see uh, some of the people using them uh, on a YouTube video. There's uh, a few Chinese men making great big rugs um, with them. But we'll have a play with them next time. Um, and then when you've made your rug, you tend to get this cut pile finish, which is uh, one end's a bit higher than the other. It, it's, it looks like it's been double cut. Um, to get the fine finish you have on a Chinese rug, you really want something like this um, and again it's got the element of danger it's got all these spinning spinning wheels right by your hand but um, it'll only get you once before you realize uh, I'll, I'll fire this up on this bit of a uh, tufty carpet we've got and you can just see that in action you connect it to a hoover if you're doing a big job um, the best rug I've ever made I, I learned a lesson if you're getting close to the edge it's going to pick the edge up and rip it off uh, so the best rug I ever made, I just went to shear it, caught it in this, ripped the corner off it. Uh, so I've learned some ways to shear the rugs by putting stuff around the edge. I'll show you that again when we've made a rug. But I'll just give you a, a, a look at this in action. What, what did you do with that rug? You didn't make it smaller by any chance, did you? Uh, I, yeah, I made it into a smaller rug and then and I got... redid the edge? No, and then I got clever and thought that I'll have another go at it. And I'll shear it again. a bit finer <laughs> and did the same again. So, so it went even smaller. <laughs> yeah, so well, it, it ended up thrown across the room and uh, experience was got off that rather yeah. than a rug. But then um, a plain rug, if I come in, I used to come here in the morning and you'd be looking at six to eight hours of, and I'd go on with a numb finger from pulling the trigger and it'd take a day or two to, to go off. So uh, I, I'd say do it in instalments a bit at a time. Um, but they was looking like eight hours would get a rug out. You do get a bit more handy with it. And I did a, that design an ICF rug. That took the same amount of time. Uh, so it isn't something that happens fast. Um, can, you, can you do anything else with these? Like, can you, you repurpose in tufts no, or carpets? No, no. So they're specifically for rugs? I, I have heard people say, oh, you can over tough the design. Well, when you've got the backing stuck on the carpet, it's a lot tougher than it is just to get through that into yeah. backing. Um, you could go over one that had no backing on it and you could probably put a design in. Uh, but I wouldn't say they won't bore through. I have, I've tried this, I thought I'd just put a design in to a piece of carpet that's already there. It, it, it didn't work, it, well it didn't work for me. Um, it, it bores quite a big hole and, and rips a hole. Whereas when you're using the into backing it actually moves that wefts and walks out of the way because it spreads as, as it goes in. If you go through that, uh, whether you, there's one way to find out. See, this is more of a dance tool thing I'd like to do, but I don't think it, it's something that everyone wants to watch. But basically, if that was on there, so it won't, it, it won't even come through. Look. It, 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 it won't work. To, um, uh, but I have tried that before. Um, so even with this shearing machine, you, you have to get the knack of it. But um, we'll plug it in, and you just we'll just show you this in action. It's been that long. I don't even know where the switch is. Oh, there we go. So you set the height by these two knobs, which uh, swings it.
so I'll lower it down a bit and show you really. So for when I've seen them use these, they don't use them in a row because you're going to get a line. Um, they sort of wiggle it about. It looks like I loosened it. So you can see there, I mean, we've dug right into that carpet, you can see it in action. But I, I have seen in America, uh, they restore rugs with these and I've seen them restore a long pile carpet with it. Uh, I think you'd probably do your blading with the grip that's in the carpet, but I yeah. uh, don't know how much a blade is. Um, it's, it's that there. Um, but they've, they restore a rug, they take a minuscule amount off the top and where the sun's faded it, because you've cut the ends off the pile, you're back to a fresh colour um, and it makes the, the rug look like new again. I've also seen them with a long pile of carpet come in and take a mill off and it's looked like a brand new carpet underneath. So um, again, it's something I think is interesting. Uh, you've been able to see it without buying it. So yeah, it's I've, probably, like I say, I've never seen one to be it's, honest. It's, it's I've probably, seen pictures of them but I've never seen one in action. But it's probably more interesting for you because you haven't had to unload your money into it. <laughs> <laughs> I can have a go. Yeah, yeah. But, We'll, we'll, we'll set up the frame and we'll make a rug next time. A uh, few mistakes I made with sticking on the backing uh, was I was first using copied X, which is quite expensive, and then I moved to F3, which I thought, oh, I've got big tubs of that, I'll paint that on. Well, it, it has, it's gone brittle. I mean, this has been here for about a year, um, and you, you can hear it crunch, so I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't, oh, well, I will use the F3 on the next one because I'm too tight to buy. Um, any more adhesive just for one job that we're not using uh, but yeah th there's a few things that I've made the mistake with that if you see that I've done it you'll you'll know it doesn't work yourself so um, we'll, yeah. we'll make a, a rug next time and, and yeah, well, you part make a rug and yeah. then uh, we'll next, finish next it week when I come we'll yeah. finish it off together and film it yeah Brilliant. so yeah it might be interesting might not but thanks for watching we'll see cheers cheers see you later